My name's Gray Drake. I'm the senior editor of Rotten Tomatoes. I am drawn to both chalkboards and the intelligent people that write upon them. The man standing next to me, like not to oversell it too much, but he's gonna save the world. Yes, how hard could it be? <laughs> Bill Nye! I just kept yelling your name when I got the, I was like, Bill Nye, we're gonna talk to Bill Nye today. Don't be dumb around this guy. I feel a lot of pressure. In fact, I'm gonna do this. I think it's good, it's a good look. Did Does I get, the, give me the percentage how much smarter I got when I put them on. Uh, I, I don't know that you uh, got any smarter, unless, are they prescription to enhance your seeing? Yes. Oh, then you got, you, your perception of the world's a little better, so. There you go. I'm okay. shooting from the hip, I'd say 32 I like percent. it, I'll take that for a dollar. Just shy of a third. <laughs> now we grabbed a couple of questions before we started this from the internet, and I wanted to, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Are you ready for this? Yeah, yeah. All right. James wants to know, could you build the Death Star without it collapsing under its own gravity? Okay, look, you guys. <laughs> Here, let me talk to you about Star Wars briefly. I know you're out there, I know you love the Star Wars. But let us keep in mind that Star Wars has magic. It has the Force, which apparently travels faster than light. Then, due respect, saw Rogue One. Yeah. Wait, don't tell me, the Death Star. Oh, wait, don't tell me. The stormtroopers, you just look at them and they fall, they're not even bowling pins, they fall over so easily. <laughs> so I'm with you, I'm sympathetic, I enjoyed the first few dozen of them, but now I just gotta say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not here to rack my brain on the Death Star. Here's an interesting one from Russell. If movies have length, width, and time, aren't they already 3D? Uh, yes, that's a, that's a true fact, not a false fact, however, you got to get into this thing of common usage. As far as we know, t time's always passing. Even okay. if you hold really still, time is passing. So that one's taken for granted. The fourth dimension's taken for granted. I mean, they could have called it 2D plus a couple more, but that didn't catch on. You know, plus the a couple more. Is the that hyphenated? I'm not sure. Yeah. Marketing department had a problem with that. 2D plus a couple more doesn't really have a nice ring doesn't, to it. Mm -hmm. Can you use a car going 88 miles an hour to time travel? John wants to know. As far as we know, not. But understand the word, eight, the, word the number 88 was not arbitrary, in my opinion. It's, hmm. it's good to keep in mind that in the English system, which they used to use to reckon distances, 88 feet per second is very close to 60 miles an hour. So th they just threw it in there for fun. Nice. Furthermore, uh, how many keys on a piano keyboard in Western tradition? 88? Yes. How many constellations in the sky in Western tradition? 88. Yes, yes, yes. You see, it wasn't just a number, if I may, out of the sky. How many times have I been brought up on charges doing interviews? Brought up on charges. <laughs> Get it? So what did the bartender say to the neutron? What? For you, no charge. <laughs> huh? Science. <laughs> okay. I want to know, like, what's Bill Nye behind the scenes? Like, if you were going to do your next Netflix show, I've already moved on to the next one, and I want it to be Bill Nye After Dark. Okay? So you've, you, the, the lab coat is off, is right? It, is it, it's relaxing is it on a, time. Is it on a coat rack? Because that's been a big issue over there, <laughs> the coat rack. You seem or like a it, very neat person. Is so it, I, no, no, yeah. Is it on rack. the floor? Hold on a second. <laughs> no, big. Of course, I didn't say this, but uh, but when, whether the garment is hung up neatly or on the floor yeah. can, can be evidence of uh, all sorts of things. It can certainly be evidence of pheromones, which I'm sure is going to be an well, episode. Well, I was thinking more of just being in a hurry. Or that also, which is also science. Yeah. Now, what are you doing when you have stopped sciencing for the day? I sit on the porch Ooh. and watch. There's a lot of people that walk dogs in my neighborhood. Nice. And you might be familiar with this where you know the name of the dog, but not the people. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, so that's, uh, and, and they want it that way. So it's all good. <laughs> um, the dogs and the people, all of they, them. When you're sitting on the porch and you're looking at the dogs whose names that you know, and you're ignoring. Zeus. Zeus is one Rex, of them. Zeus, Rex. Cowboy. Rex, Cowboy. Bruce. Bruce, Muffin might be one, I'm just saying. Is that time for you to reflect on new scientific things that you're going to bring us to save the world. Yes, I'm, I frankly am always reflecting. So I mean, I'm not joking you. So let's talk about 
my next book <clears throat> comes out July 10th. Um, it's not this one. No, this one's already out. I'm very proud of this. Bill and I, uh, I mean, this is uh, Bill and Greg. Greg Moan is brilliant. I met Greg surfing. Hmm. And uh, in this book, our heroes, Jack, who's the every kid, Ava, and Matt, uh, they are foster brothers. They consider themselves a family, even though they're from different ancestors. They have an adventure with Hank, who might remind you of a science guy. And uh, they go to the Antarctic, where they make a discovery, or they meet a scientist who's made a discovery uh, that could save the world. And that, in this case, uh, desalinization of water. So there's three books to start with. In the first one, we desalinate water. In the second one, we find a new source of renewable energy. And the third one, we, ha we use uh, satellites to access global information, the internet. And these are the three things we need for everybody in the world, not a coincidence. Then, Save the, world. Uh, the book that comes out July 10th is called Everything All at Once, How Nerds Solve Problems. And this is to say, when I'm sitting on the porch, talking with the dogs, an occasional exchange of words with the owners, or their, the people that uh, work for the dogs, I am reflecting on all sorts of things. Your brain, I claim your brain is always whirring, whirring, whirring. whirring. Sometimes you eat whipped cream while uh, you're occasionally whirring. you. Yes. <laughs> and people say to me, Bill, Nye, should we bring back a woolly mammoth from its DNA? And I think it would be cool. It would. We have zoos. We had woolly mammoths just 10,000 years ago until humans went crazy with their weapons and killed them all. The trouble is if you're a big animal mm -hmm. and you run across a tribe of humans, you can't reproduce fast enough. The humans will kill you and eat you all before you can reproduce and that's why there used to be all these other mammals all over North America that are <laughs> so I'd love to bring one back and take a meeting <laughs> better I, yet a girl and a boy mammoth there you go and then we'll have another conversation about their lab coats and their pheromones and well their science. their lab woolly coats their woolly lab coats yes well that's it <laughs> what part of your show are you most excited for people to see in this okay, new okay. iteration on Netflix? Let us keep in mind, I'm never going to say the favorite part. Then you're going to think I don't want to watch the other parts. I love it all. Touche, Bill Nye. But watch the opening thing uh, where the monologue with a little demonstration. We might have a celebrity. Then watch the panel discussion. Yeah. And then what happens at the end? The big finish. Huh? That's what we have. Yeah, so watch that. Oh my god, it's happening. It's fun. I don't think you should do that. That seems like a bad idea. <sighs> it's oh good. Oh my God, somebody, medic, no, <coughs> you're okay. Gray, Medi is this? Can I do that? Yeah, I mean, you, you'll be sipping your co-cup. I mean, I don't know how you feel about germs. So, uh, is this a flask or a beaker? It's a beaker that I wish was a flask because I would like to be drunk with you. Well, I mean, are you, are you okay? Maybe I would like to have a drink with you and Keith sometimes. <laughs> A drink. Uh, you don't have a mouth. That is racist. <laughs> a beaker is open at the top. A flask has a neck. So you're telling me I got that right? Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, because of the surprise in your voice, I take it it was not intentional. Carry on, you guys. They're just nouns, but words include more than they leave out, and they don't say what all there is about everything. We have a lot of words on the show. Turn it up loud, and when one episode's over, watch another one. Binge it. Woo! April Binge 21st. it. first. Binge it. Do what he says. He's going to save the world. Can I give you a hug? Uh, yeah, Gray, sure. Oh. See, that's a man-woman hug. If it's a guy, it's just one arm like this. What a bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, carry on, everybody. Watch Bye. my show, read my book, turn it up loud. It's Netflix. Let's burn something. <laughs>